Hey, this is David B69. Welcome to today's video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Let's get on to the show. Hey everybody, this is David B69, and welcome to today's video where we're going to go through part two of my Nintendo 64 collection. This one's a little bit different than the first video because there's no completes, there's nothing um, like out that outstanding. Um, but there are some really good heavy hitters here. So let's get right into it because we have about 50 games. Might be a little bit more. I'm not really sure of the exact count, but we have quite a few to go through. First one being F1 World Cup Grand Prix. No, it's not World Cup. It's, it says World Grand Prix, but I always call it World Cup Grand Prix. I don't know why. Um, and next we'll do another racer, which is a great racer, Cruising USA. If you haven't played this game and everything, you have not been to the arcades in the 80s. Well, 90s, sorry. I'm uh, dating myself. But uh, yeah, Cruising USA in the 90s was the top games in the arcade because that was so much fun and it was like a, loads of fun and everything especially on the Nintendo 64. Next up we got San Francisco Rush. This is a great great title. Um, it's extreme racing. Um, I really really like enjoy that. Here's a game that I don't really enjoy so much. Um, it's a so-so game to me, and that is Mission Impossible. Um, I like having it part of my collection, but it's not my favorite title of all time. It, it's a it's a it's a good shooter. I mean, it's not, but it's not my favorite. Um, then we got Wipeout '64. It's a solid title. Uh, now we got some. We can get your some of your mediocre stuff out of the way here. We got NHL Breakaway 98. NASCAR 2000. We got Triple Play 2000. We got Bottom of the Ninth. I like the PS1 versions of the baseball game for the bottom of the ninth as well. And we got NFL Quarterback Club 98. Our boy Brett Favre on the cover. And the big surprise is NFL Quarterback 99 with our boy Brett Favre on the cover. And then we have our boy Brett Favre on NFL Quarterback Club 2000. And because they wanted to be different, they made a red cart of NFL Quarterback Club 2001 with our boy Brett Favre. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, NFL Quarterback Club series, mainly because, well, they had some cool things in, that they added on, that they have like these games and other things that you can play, but it's not football. I really wasn't, I'm like really a football guy where I just want to play the actual game. I don't want to play these side mini games. Those things are cool, but not my kind of thing. They were, well, it's, you got to realize that my age group, when I'm basically, by the time I'm playing those games, I'm like 30 years old, and the mini game kind of thing is not my kind of thing. Um, if you're getting a kid in, to play those games, yeah, those quick hit and be done in 15 minutes kind of thing could be good for you and basically just move you on. But anyway, there's NFL, uh, there's NBA in the zone, 98. Then we got NBA in the zone, 99. Solid, but not the greatest basketball titles. Then we got Pixar's A Bug's Life. It's a solid game. I, I basically would, I, I would recommend it. It's not the greatest game in the whole wide world, but I'd recommend it. Then we got 007. The world is not enough. Because it's not. Then we got WWF Attitude. Then 
And we got Turok 2. And I've, since I've played Turok 1 now a little bit, I'm actually looking forward to Turok 2. And here's Pokemon Snap. Oh, Snap. You get a camera and you take pictures of Pokemon. Not exciting. Um, All-Star Tennis. 99, I think. Yeah, 99. They only made one variant of that one. Then the Old Master. GoldenEye 007. I know there's probably people that can play this game blindfolded because they played it so much. Um, injury, original Micro Machine. Micro Machines 64. Sorry about how it flew. Um, but it landed in a top pile of bubble wrap. And if I didn't go into the pile of bubble wrap, I might not have ever gotten it back. Probably forgot about it or something. Yoshi Story. Mike Piazza's Strike Zone. This is a good baseball title. WCW Mayhem. Namco Museum. Very strong title. Twisted Edge, Extreme Snowboarding. You know, Wave Race 64, which is a very, very fun game to play. And we got Road Rash 64, tremendous game. And we got Diddy Kong Racing 64. Great title. Wayne Gretzky Hockey 3D. Um, very arcadey hockey um, fun, but not my kind of fun, but it's fun. Um, here's Wayne Gretzky 98. It's like basically the same exact game. It's fun though. It's cool. Great game is Mario Golf. Then we got multi racing, multi racing championship. I think that's right. Then we got WrestleMania 2000. Here is Gex 64. Chopper Attack. WWF Warzone. Rugrat Scavenger Hunt. You would have seen this in the unboxing for uh, Video Games Monthly this month. And as well as this one, Golden Nugget. And we got Spider-Man. Here's Kobe Bryant, NBA courtside. In my opinion, the best basketball games are these two games. And the favorite one, of course, is NBA courtside 2 with Kobe Bryant. Um, it's my, they're my favorite basketball games on the Nintendo 64. And then there's South Park. How... Are we having South Park cartoons still out today? And we had these games on the Nintendo 64. It's like that and The Simpsons just absolutely boggles the mind. Um, WCW versus NWO World Tour. WCW NWO Revenge. Command and Conquer. Banjo Tui. Mario Kart 64. 
And lastly, Mario Tennis. What's your favorite of the uh, entire lot? Um, basically, leave a comment in the comment below. Um, I'm trying to figure out which system I'm going to do next. I'm trying to go through every single one of the systems. Um, I was going to do the A to Z thing, and but it's like I don't feel like I'm like copying every single other person and YouTuber out there that that is doing that kind of list. So I just basically wanted to give them random. Um, I thought with the Nintendo 64, if I got the big hitters out first and showed those and then basically showed the rest, that was the way to go for this system. Um, the rest of the way, it's really, there's no way of doing that. So we're just going to play it by ear um, and figure out what I want to do from there. So anyways, until next time, this is David B 69 and I'm out. Peace. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.